Sword and Shield, the game's based off the greatest weapon pairing of all time, is out. And you know what that means. Time to catch a metric truck ton of Farfetch and evolve them into the chattest, baddest, raddest Pokemon of all Pokemon. Welcome to a crap guide to getting a Surf Fetched. First thing you're gonna do is find a Farfetch. After beating the thickest boy in town, head to Route 5 where the tall grass is looming with the duckers. If you're in shield, then you're out of luck because I was gonna say trade it from a friend with sword, but we all know that requires friends. If you want multiple ducks and don't want to waft through all the wobs, there's a daycare conveniently nearby and you can breed a female with anything with a flying or field egg root. Your easiest choices are likely a rookadee or a thick cheeky nut boy. Now that you have your Fardo, in order to evolve it, it needs to land three critical hits in a single battle, which is hard to do without killing the enemy when you're as chad and meta breaking as this buff ass. Bird. First thing you're gonna need is a leak. Boosts the rate of critical hits and can be found held by wild farfetch or stolen from somebody with a copy of sword after you beat them up and stole their switch because remember only friends give you free leaks. Once you have a leak or the focus energy technical record you get from the NPC by the record store in Motorstoke. No wonder it's closed down. How are you supposed to do business selling records when wankers like this bloke are giving them out for free? Train your way cooler ducklet to a level around 20 to 25. Make sure it has peck, sand attack, and rock smash. The fourth slot can be a stupid move nobody uses like stealth rock. And head to the Galar mine number two because we're gonna take a big number two on the number two of the entire Pokemon Kingdom, Stunfisk. Your Farfetch will take a look at the moldy pizza and go, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Which is your cue to start spamming sand attacks until it gets more blind than a romantically hopeless anime protagonist. Once it's in a cycle of blind flailing, this is your chance to peck the ever-living heck out of Stunfisk. It's a pretty tanky Pokemon and being steel type means peck will only slowly massage it to death or painfully torture it depending on your perspective of how it feels to be stabbed by the angry bird. Keep your fetchman healthy when the occasional attack from the enemy lands and you should eventually get your three crits. After you do, make sure to finish it off with a rock smash because it won't count if you pansy out and run away like a fire type sweeper after somebody Achoo. sneezes on it. Watch the pretty particle effects and you have the chattest of the bratest to totally annihilate the Galar region. Now you know how to get surfetched, you're welcome.